everyone and welcome back to another video in this video guys i'm going to simply show you how you can actually track a 3d text to anywhere on the 3d scene 3d scene can be a desert forest a drone shot from anywhere i'm going to show you how to simply track any text to any of those places right in africa and welcome back to Big Dubai. If this is your first time here, please subscribe button below this video so that you can actually get notified when I upload a new tutorial just like this one. And in my video tutorials, I go step by step showing you all the necessary things you need to make that cool part on your own video. So click the subscribe button right now. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to simply show you how you can actually create a 3D text and track this text to anywhere on the 3D scene. It can be a desert, it doesn't matter, it can be a forest or anything, a rooftop, a drone shot. I'm going to show you step by step how to track 3D text to any of those places. So let's dive right in with a quick tutorial in After Effects. So right here we are in After Effects and once you're on After Effects and on this page, what you want to simply do is that you want to click on new composition from footage. Click on that and it's going to pop in this area where you want to simply select your video file or any file actually you want to use for the video. So now I'm going to select this desert area shot right here. You can actually use any one for this. So I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to click on import. And once it has imported, I'm going to simply see it right here on the composition panel or on the timeline, anyone you call it. So now the next thing you want to simply do once it has entered here is that you want to check if it is at the right composition setting. Now you want to simply go to composition settings and you can lock aspect ratio if you like and this is only a 13 seconds duration. You want to set your own custom duration and that's pretty much all the settings you need to know. Click on OK and by the end the effect on blue sets you want to simply open that up and look for the 3d camera tracker effect quickly drag this and place this on the clip and it's going to show you this where it says analyzing in the background one of two so you want to simply wait for this to analyze and once it has finished analyzing you can actually continue with tracking the text so right here in the effect controls you see that it says one percent frame nine of 109 track so now we want to simply wait at approximately six minutes for that depending on how fast or how slow your system is so it's still going so we're going to simply wait for this we're going to come back after it has finished analyzing in the background so after after effects finish analyzing in the background it's going to show you this screen where it says solving camera and you want to simply wait for this to actually solve the camera and show you the tracking points which it has actually tracked and it's going to take a little bit time but not as long as the analyzing the background did so within any moment from now it's going to show you all these tracking points where you can actually track a text to a logo anything at all you can track a face a text a logo just anything at all and i'm going to show you how you can actually do that so while waiting for this to serve camera if this is your first time here and you want to learn more things about premiere pro and after effects click the subscribe button below this video and also turn on the bell notification so that you actually get notified whenever I drop a new video just like this one. So with that said, you saw the intro I did at the beginning, right? I actually did that with videos and with a monthly subscription, you can actually make tons and tons of 3D animations for your videos, for your clients, and it only costs 69 bucks per month, which is actually quite cheaper than usual. So click the link in the description below to actually get videos for only 69 bucks per month. So right now in After Effects, you can see that it has finished solving the camera. It's going to show you some tracking points right here that you can actually use to track the text. If you hover around this tracking point, you're going to see some red dart lines just like this. And what thing you want to do is that you want to move to somewhere in the middle to set the effect better. I'm going to go to somewhere in the middle and it's going to show me some things like this. And if the tracking points are too small for you to see, you can actually increase the size right here on the tracker point size. Now increasing that is going to make it bigger. So now you want to look for a red point just like the one you're seeing right now. And what you want to simply do on that point is that you want to right click and say create text. So now we're going to create a text right here and it's going to show us this text box right here. And as you can see, the text is not in the right perspective. So one thing we have to do is that we have to put this in the right perspective. So coming down to the text right here, we're going to click on text, we're going to click on the rotation properties. And once we click on the rotation properties, we need to rotate this to our desired um, perspective. So if it's like this, you want it, you can actually leave it that way. If you want to turn this around, you can actually do it. It's up to you at this point, design this 
and make it anywhere you want so now double clicking on the text right here will select everything on the screen right here you can change the font of this text by choosing a simple font size or font text and um, you can actually go down if you have a lot of fonts on your system you can click on each of them and it's going to change the text right there you can change it from regular to bold you can also change the color right here by choosing red if you like choosing blue choosing green any one of those so i'm going to go for a solid blue just like this one i'm going to click on ok now you have successfully tracked this text to somewhere on the screen as easy as it is so now if i play this you're going to see that after effects start rendering out the entire frame so in order for this to work fine you can simply click on the play button on the space bar so after effects starts playing the clip and as you can see the text is now tracked to this desert scene right here and how do you know it is tracked now if i turn off this camera or 3d camera right here i turn it off what you see is that if i continue moving forward the text stays at the exact position throughout the entire frame it doesn't change as you can see right here it stays here but if you want to know that you actually tracked this turning on the camera or 3d camera tracker will align the text to the place you actually chose so if i move forward you're going to see that it follows the desert part it goes along with it so if i move further you see it changes position according to how you tracked it so moving further you see that it comes closer and that's how you can easily know you actually tracked a 3d text so that's how easy it is guys so the next step is to simply go to file click on export and add to adobe media encoder queue and this is going to render your clip and you have a 3d text tracked to a 3d scene so that was it for this video guys on tracking a 3d text to anywhere on a 3d scene if you love this video simply click the like button down below and also go down to the comment box and type in any comments of your choice you can ask me a question you can ask me anything down in the comments related or non related to this video and i'm going to simply reply to each and every one of them so before i go i have a simple question for you guys which video editing tutorial you want me to make next put them down in the comment below and i'm going to reply to each and every one of them thank you guys for watching and i'm going to see you in the next one